the introduction to open intelligence is 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 very simple. And if we if we stop thinking for a moment, we introduce ourselves to the powerful intelligence, open intelligence. It's completely open. It doesn't have any boundaries and limitation anywhere. It's it's open, vast, like the sky. That's open intelligence. This is our mind. Open, open intelligence. Or vast like the sky, like the like the blue sky here. Today a little bit blue. <laughs> In the basis, in essence, always blue. <laughs> and that's our mind, no matter how it looks like, no matter what comes up, no matter our data streams, our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, you know, even if it feels so negative, so bare, so naked, like an open wound, <laughs> you know, it feels so painful or so unpredictable like we all know, all know, it's, it's open, vast, like the sky, entirely relaxed. Every moment is like that, a, a deep relaxation, complete relaxation. So that's open intelligence, that's the inseparable from, from everything we experience, everything. Everything we can imagine, everything we can't imagine. Open intelligence, inseparable from all of that. And so all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, people, places, things, we call it data. Just to keep it very simple. So when data arise, we rely on open intelligence. We rely on its vastness. And the vastness of mind. We completely relax for short moment. In the balanced view, we, we speak about the practice short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So in a short moment, you introduce yourself to that, to that power to know, to know that about yourself, to know that open intelligence is always present. So you acknowledge that for every moment, just even right now, we can, we can all do that. A short moment of complete relaxation. A short moment of allowing everything to be as it is. Can you see that? It's, it's just so simple. A short moment of allowing everything to be as it is. Not trying to change it, to change the flow of data streams, to avoid what we're feeling, to try to replace what we're thinking, or to go into all kinds of stories, trying to be someone else, fix ourselves, change the situation, change the circumstance. What can we do today to not feel this, to not feel that? Just allow it all to be as it is. In short moment of open intelligence, that's the key. <laughs> and then, these short moments, they're amazing. You know why? Because they become continuous. They suddenly go longer. The short moments, it's, it's a timeless moment. It's, it's not a, a second or a minute. It's a timeless short moment. It's, um, it's for the benefit of all. Each short moment is for the benefit of everyone. In each short moment, you see that you can take responsibility for everything that appears and you rely on your beneficial potency. You see that you can use everything you feel, everything you think for the benefit of all. So that was a beautiful question. And how to use our data streams for the benefit of all. I know for myself how using my data streams not for the benefit of all, is trying to change my data streams, trying to avoid what I'm feeling, replacing everything, even to positive. That's a bit limited. Hmm? If we're an open intelligence, we're completely open to all. We're completely open, responsive to everyone. We allow everything to be as it is. We feel so fully. We think all kinds of things, but we allow everything to be as it is. That's the beneficial potency. 
often burning, burning to be of benefit to all. All of the time, may, maybe. <laughs> In my case, all of the time burning to be of benefit to all. But then saying also it's the power in everyone that's inseparable. So all the negative things, the, the trash containers, or that's what she said? Compactors. Compactors. <laughs> Let's say trash. <laughs> so even that, uh, to recognize that as open intelligence is powerful, but instinctive recognition of that, not intellectual understanding of negative is also open intelligence. By the power of short moments we see in ourselves, we feel everything, but we feel totally empowered to be of benefit to everyone, to use our mind in beneficial ways, to use our speech, benefit, benefit speech. But everything we say, everything we do, with our body, with our mind, with our voice, is for the benefit of all. It's freely giving to everyone. It's, uh, it's loving more everyone. It's always more and more increasing benefit to all. It's um, endless time to be of benefit to all. Inexhaustible time, no matter how long is your to-do list. Hmm? No matter how many things you have to do, you have endless time to be of benefit to all. It's inexhaustible, it's timeless, so free, so free. So that's the nature of our mind. It's not, it's not bound into any situation, any circumstance. It's completely open to all, responsive to all, including yourself, the needs of yourself, the needs of everyone. It comes together. So by taking these short moments, what I see in my own life is that increasing confidence, increasing stability, increasing power, but beneficial power to be of benefit to all. Not anymore making myself a victim, insisting that I am a victim of my data streams, choosing to be a victim. Not anymore doing so. Instead, giving up the right to be a victim, wanting to be empowered, wanting to make a change in the world, wanting to be of benefit to all. So every moment is like that. Every moment is pure benefit. Every moment is so valuable, pure benefit to all. So that's what we come to see in a short moment and relying on the support of the four mainstays. So short moments of open intelligence, even if it's hard to take short moments, we feel we are not capable even to understand what it means. Resting naturally. I always love to hear that. Resting naturally as we are, without doing anything. Resting our mind, resting our body for a short moment. Even if we're running a marathon, resting our mind, resting our body. Inseparable from being busy, from being lazy, from being, feeling complicated, from feeling overwhelmed. Resting naturally. Relaxation. Doesn't feel always relaxed, but instinctive relaxation, no matter what comes up. So for me, the support of the Four Mainstays is very crucial. The short moments, no matter how long I'm taking these short moments, I never expect them to be continuous. I love these short moments. I love to hear about them. I love to know more about that. I love to hear uh, trainers, participants, shares to see how in their life, the benefits they see in their life, truly relying on the support of the Four Mainstays. I love to, to hear everything about the open intelligence because we see, we see the power in the community. We see it so obviously. It's bold. It's bold. No matter how tender it is, it's bold. It's obvious. That's the power of open intelligence. Like here, we see, okay, open intelligence is present, completely present. We don't need to think about it. It's always present. And then the training in Bristol, 
It's endless. Everything is available. Like today we have training, tomorrow, yesterday, always will be. Online training, just to meet with each other, to, to be together, to make that obvious to us, to hear about open intelligence, to understand, instinctively know, to gain assurance, confidence, openness. We know. That's it. Hmm? That's the power of the training, the media, the talks. Everything evokes open intelligence. Even if your thoughts are going somewhere else, it doesn't matter. The open intelligence becomes obvious, more present, more apparent. <coughs> That's what I see in myself. My, my thoughts can just go completely crazy. But then open intelligence, bold, obvious. Like the, the finger, the conviction is so, it's like off with finger, it's done. Even if I try my best to indulge my data streams, it's like I indulge and I recognize open intelligence. So it's unavoidable. And then the trainer, the trainer is available for, to clarify, to empower, to evoke open intelligence, to share the experience of how is it to live a life for the benefit of all. How is it for us to rely on the Four Mainstays, to take it all the way, to dedicate our life to the Four Mainstays? So that's, what, that's the support I take for my trainer. Uh, to hear more, always to gain more and more confidence, assurance. That's the relationship, always to open up further, to be contributed to. No matter how afraid we are of the relationship or how we feel maybe a shame or shy to even connect to another person. But that's all also included in the power of open intelligence. Opening up ourselves to another person, to open intelligence. It becomes inseparable from our own experience. So that's what I see, even in resistance, even in doubt, even if not being sure, I have a choice. I have a complete choice to make myself a victim, to believe that this data has independent nature, they have power over me, they will take over. Everything seems so real. But then I can reach out, I can take the support, I can share my data streams in my speech, in writing to my trainer. And for those who haven't completed 12 empowerments, then coming to meetings just like that, asking questions. The trainers are available also on clarity calls and open meetings. After completing the 12 empowerments, you have a personal trainer, always with you, always with you. Even if you go to different directions, the trainer, instinctive support, so intimate, more than you think, more than intimate partner. <laughs> so it feels like oh, even more than that. <laughs> it's so, such an empowering relationship, so open, so free, getting to know ourselves. So that's what I see also. It's, it's inexhaustible love. And then the community, what, what will you say about that? It's, it's amazing. Yeah? Sometimes we come. My sister came last, last year here and, you know, she, she was just so happy to meet everyone. She was just, everyone's so nice, why? She asked me. <laughs> How come? <laughs> I just smiled. <laughs> so that, I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> So that's when we come here, when we see everyone, it's like, oh, how can everyone be so happy? It's all, it's almost, sometimes we think we cannot take it anymore. We just want to run away from here because we cannot really bear that happiness. <laughs> Is it really exist? But then getting used to it, even running away, feeling that happiness coming after you, you know, it's like, it's so obvious that it's, it's like you cannot, everyone is so happy have everywhere. You see open intelligence everywhere, it triples. And then you're just like, oh, give up. Give up the right to be a victim of your own data. You don't, you're not interested in being negative anymore. Negativity appears, but you rely on the power of open intelligence. You rely on the community, an amazing community, on 
Yeah, just being together yesterday and speak easy was the best, huh? <laughs> and just connecting with each other in such effortless, spontaneous way, loving way, where there is no effort of being ourselves. You know how it feels effortful to be ourselves? When we try to be ourselves, <laughs> we know. It doesn't feel right. But then when we allow everything to be as it is, that's it. We unlock that power to be of benefit to all. We see that everything about us is pure benefit. Love-filled, love-filled life, everything. <laughs>